This is Stronghold Brackets. The FS line of Stronghold Brackets comes in two sizes. The FS10, which is 10 inches in length, and the FS20, which is 20 inches in length. This is the FS10. It features a half inch tube, which allows for two inch thick, low profile shelves to slide over and still hide the hole. Each bracket has a top and bottom. The side that is the top of the bracket has a 9 16 of an inch lip. The U-shaped design of the Stronghold bracket allows for easy installation after sheet lock with only a two inch by two inch hole. The FS20 bracket provides support and stability for floating vanities, with a three quarter inch tube that can hold even heavy granite or cement countertops. The holes you see on the side of each bracket is designed for additional support, as will be demonstrated in this video. The bracket is designed to be seated against a stud, as shown here. The first step to installing a floating vanity is to locate the studs. Next, mark where you're going to cut the drywall. Use a drywall saw or an oscillating multi-tool as shown here to cut the drywall. This is what your stronghold brackets will look like out of the box. Once your brackets are in place, you'll want to secure your brackets using two and a half inch screws, as shown here. Secure your brackets using the holes on the top and bottom. Ensure your brackets are level. Here's what to do if your bracket needs additional support. Locate the machined holes on the side of the bracket. To access these holes if the bracket's already in place, you may need to cut more of the drywall away. Here, you can see the hole where we can add a two and a half inch screw for additional support. Once your brackets are level, you're ready to add your vanity. Simply place the vanity directly on top of the brackets. Make sure your vanity is secured to the wall. <laughs> 